What's up, guys? It is Jack and Jeff from AchievementHunter.com. Jeff, we are doing five facts in Assassin's Creed Revelations. That's a good game. It is a very good game. This is this might be my favorite of the Ezio series of games. It came wow, out that's fascinating. Is that a fact? It, it, well, that's an opinion, actually. That's an opinion, Jeff. That's how it right. It came out in 2011. You um, featured both Altair and Ezio and Desmond, for what it's worth. I think, was this Desmond's last game? Yeah, yeah I this is the so. one. Uh, yeah, it was a rough one for him. Uh, all right, let's get right into it and uh, go on. You ready? Yeah. <laughs> Are you okay? Yeah. You seem very disappointed right now. No. You, good. Would, you, would you rather be doing something Read the else? Read goddamn Jeff? facts. All right. Number one the general plot for this game was originally going to be used in a planned 3DS title called Assassin's Creed Lost Legacy. Well, that sounds stupid. Uh, shortly after development began on Lost Legacy, the game was scrapped and the story was reworked into what would later become Assassin's Creed Revelation. Good call, Ubisoft. That is, uh, that's impressive because that was a serious story, too. But it makes sense because they had the. Uh, was was that the one that had the um, the RTS element to it, kind of like the uh, 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 like the tower defense game? I don't know, or was that Brotherhood? Well, Brotherhood had the one where you sent your fucking assassins out and on missions and shit. Well, that, they they all kind of did that from yeah. Brotherhood on, but I'm trying to. Th I think yeah, that, Revelations they had a thing where you like built up your base. And yeah, stuff like yeah, that, yeah. All right, so uh, that makes sense. That may have been like a 3DS thing, but all right. Number two, during development, voice actor Nolan North urged Ubisoft to adopt a performance capture system where the actors could record voice and motion at the same time. Although they didn't change the recording process for Revelations, later Ubisoft titles use processes similar to what Nolan suggested, possibly due to the veteran voice actors comments and also False. everyone was doing that from that point on i guess False. he got he did that in um in uncharted right i guess he just wanted to keep doing it he liked it more maybe he gets paid more if he does performance capture as well number three six different ubisoft studios helped make helped ubisoft montreal the main developer of revelations with various aspects of the game True. six different studios that's uh i wonder where they're all located i wonder how globally built this game was it's, these are all these are all facts, Jeff. You don't have to say true or false. Okay, I'll tell you four and five are also true. Correct. <laughs> uh, number four, the hook blade was originally going to be an upgrade for Ezio to obtain during the game. However, in the final version of Revelations, it acts as a replacement for his broken right blade. That's kind of cool. Yeah. So instead of just doing an upgrade, they have it. They actually fit into the story. You know what that is? That's What's a that? fucking fact. That is a fact. And number five, last but not least, Sophia, Ezio's love interest in the game, is based on an Albrecht Duner. Durer painting called Portrait of a Venetian Woman. All That's right. sweet. I like I like that whole subplot with her and him. That yeah. made me happy. I You're like, a I sucker for love. I really like the way Revelations ended. It, like the way kind of it wrapped up Altair and and Ezio and I mean uh, Desmond for that matter. But anyway, spoiler alert on that. So uh, that's uh, Assassin's Creed Revelations. I hope you enjoyed it, and we will see you next time for more. True.